The Motion Raceworks billet LS valve cover is really just a continuance of how we do everything at Motion. Basically, we have been taking cast valve covers for years and modifying them and uh, putting baffled fittings in, which is what the market wanted, and, and then coating them and selling them. But along the way, both between our own projects and customer feedback, we've found that some people want coil packs, some people don't. Some people want to have a number 12, 10, 8 breather, uh, just depending on their setup. So we try to listen to customers and uh, incorporate all of those things. And at the same time, some customers want to be able to run coil packs, some don't. They want different types of coil packs. They want them to look a certain way. They want to be able to pull a valve cover off without pulling the coil packs off first for serviceability in a race car. In addition to that, they want something that locates well and bolts down. They want it to not have a issue with sliding or moving on uh, the ceiling surface, which a lot of the um, aftermarket ones do. And then even just small things, there's actually a drip rail locating uh, edge on the bottom underside of the valve cover, which a lot of people will never notice, but we went up to a bigger material so we could incorporate that which was more machine time, but it's important because if you've ever taken a valve cover off, the angle of the heads really make oil easy to come out when you pull the valve cover off. So that's just a really frustrating thing. So we incorporated that edge just like the factory has so that when you pull the valve cover off, there's not oil dripping all over your headers. Um, and then also, like I said, so it'll locate the valve cover so it doesn't slide around when you uh, tighten it down. Uh, the really cool thing about this is the modularity in the coil brackets. You can run basically every style factory coil bracket. We have a bracket that will work for that. Uh, you can run the smart coils. You can even run the new CDI um, coils, which we don't think a lot of people will run, but there's a potential they might uh, for an alcohol car. But the fact that you can run all of that with an a la carte style bracket system and then also take all those brackets off and basically all your holes disappear. You don't have a whole lot of um, bungs or mounting bosses, for a lack of a better term, sticking up on a valve cover that you want to be smooth. At the same time, if you change back and forth or decide differently when you change your combo, you can actually just go ahead and add those back on. The top rail where everything mounts basically disappears and you can't see those holes when, every, when you remove everything. And that's really kind of the essence of what we do. Our customers a lot of times start um, with a very basic setup or a very low horsepower setup, and then they will build on and move up and change things around. Some guys every year change things, I know I do. And every year we don't want them to have to rebuy everything and change everything. If you have a part, we would like you to be able to keep it and then uh, just make it adapt to how your build is progressing or changing. Like I said, sometimes guys will take coil packs off, sometimes they'll put them back on based off of how much space you have, what setup you're running. And the fact that we can incorporate every style coil just makes it really cool. There's not a lot of limitations or caveats built into this. It's not like you can run this, but not this. It's actually very simple. And then down to the top breather. We actually wanted to be able to have interchangeable weld bungs on the top of it, but we couldn't do it with the space constraints. So we actually just tossed some aluminum on our CNC lathe in-house and turned some custom ORB to AN bungs. Uh, because everything out there didn't really fit it. We needed the ORB to be a little bit shorter to fit in there to also have baffling. If you flip the valve cover over, it has internal baffling. For me, my, one of my biggest pet peeves is having catch cans fill up full of oil. And the first line of defense is the baffling in the fitting that's on the valve covers. Having proper va baffling that can A, get the air out, but B, keep the oil in the engine is really important. So that was something we spent a lot of time on, on this valve cover. So then again, like I said, having the adaptability to go to different AN size lines when it leaves a valve cover. Because we imagine as clean and nice as this valve cover is, it's gonna be seen on everything from show cars and hot rods to race cars and everything in between. We wanted something for everybody. We didn't wanna have 20 different SKUs. Um, we wanted something that you guys could evolve in and have something look as good as it performs, and I think we definitely accomplished that. So the really cool thing about Motion is the fact that we're, uh, we're just a small family here and we're all friends, we're all car guys. We were able to sit down the first day and kind of draw what we wanted on a piece of paper. And from there, Tyler and the engineers took the ball and rolled with it. You know, we had several iterations, lots of meetings, 
we would 3D print things, uh, justify machining capabilities and times. Um, we wanted to make this thing fall into a market where um, folks who are looking at a valve cover can afford it, but also make it reproducible. We wanted everybody to be able to have this. And, uh, and then of course we wanted to be able to adapt all of our requirements from uh, breather fittings to coil packs and everything in between, how they fit the car, what it looks like in the finished state. Over months and months we you know, went back and forth, we made different iterations, we tested them on cars, designed fixturing so that we could scale up and start producing these for the masses. Our awesome team here, those guys are super innovative and even you know when they're looking at a part it's really cool because it's their passion, it's their hobby so they can look at it from the outside as an end user customer and uh, a lot of what you see turn out in it is that, that coming from them. They, they looked at it like it was something they wanted to put on their car so they weren't just designing a part, they were designing a part that could be used and something they'd be proud of also. Going forward, we are going to basically adapt and make this model go into not only a taller version for the LS so you can run roller tip rockers like you Jessels and T&D and all of that stuff, Crower, but we're also going to try and carry this design over some other platforms. A lot of what we did, modularity, should work on different platforms and bring some of this billet goodness to some other uh, engine platforms so we can spread the love. As far as availability, uh, we're ramping up production now. They'll be on the shelves when we launch this video, but we can't guarantee they will be after that. Uh, right now, they're gonna be just available in black anodized, but in the future, we're kicking around ideas to have a polished version as well. We know some people like polished valve covers. 